I want to congratulate Larry on the generous and jubilant 35th anniversary of Somata. It's a wonderful thing. I'm going to talk about ankylosing spondylitis, or bamboo spine. The same condition applies when people have had surgery, either for spinal stenosis or for any kind of scoliosis that binds the spine together and makes it rigid. Our first impulse is the wrong one. The impulse is to increase the range of motion of the spine and let them ease up. And that's just what we shouldn't do because we can create a pseudoarthrosis, which will give them pain all of their days. Instead, the strategy I, I'm encouraging is give them more range of motion to their arms and legs so they don't challenge the st stability of their own spine and give themselves inadvertently the same condition and rather are able to do everything without damaging the spine at all. Let's do it. Let's look at how to work with the arms and the legs while leaving the spine as neutral as possible. These are three good ways of stretching the legs while doing very little with the spine. Getting down onto the floor given a stiff back is not a trivial task. Kneel, lead with your arm to lie down on your side, trying not to twist the spine. Roll onto your back. Center yourself on the mat. Stretch the heels far from the hips. Stretch the head and draw the shoulders away from the ears. In this modification, tilt the pelvis to lengthen the lumbar spine towards the floor. Now take your strap and place it just below the ball of the foot. Stretch the heel up to the ceiling or keep the knee bent for tighter hamstrings. Draw your thigh bone down into the hip socket. Now ground the top of the left thigh down as you extend out through the right leg and foot. Like you were rowing a boat, draw the shoulders down to the floor. In fact, more than you see here. This stretches from the throat all the way down to the heel of the left foot. Take the strap in your right hand and place your block near the outer right hip. Open the leg to the side. The block helps us not to open too far and it prevents the hip from popping up and causing the spine to twist, just what we're trying to avoid. Wrap the left hip down to counterbalance while you extend through the right foot. Inhale up to center. And now moving to the third part of the pose, take the strap in your left hand and move to the left. Go as far as you can without raising the right hip. The whole pelvis stays on the floor. Now we're stretching the iliotibial band and all the abductors, but the spine is utterly at rest. And come up to the center, release the leg gradually to the floor without putting much spring in the spine. Feel both sides of the back. Notice if one leg feels longer than the other. And do the other side, even though we won't demo here. You can hold each piece of the pose 30 seconds. Roll to your right side and slowly come up with a nice long spine using your arms and sit to close.